Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and guys today inside of this video We're here inside of some build a boat for treasure once again in today's video We are going to be going over an update inside of the game that you guys might want to know about because this update is pretty cool So recently chill thrill the owner of Bilbo has been putting out Updates regarding the new tool and like the new cool things He's added with it the cool features with it that mobile players can like you now bind stuff with the binding tool and all around guys it is really really cool so today uh i believe it is what what's the date today it is 7 31 2020 okay he did add this today or actually yesterday but like it was a couple hours ago and well guys uh he actually made some changes with this that you guys might want to know about because it actually helps a ton so make sure you guys stay tuned throughout the full video so you guys do not miss anything and also i did a gift uh th this these wheels to this guy right here but it was in one of my recordings that i scrapped because um yeah i i was i was talking really weirdly it's it's 1.42 a.m. or 1.43. It's almost 2. So, like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tired here. And, yeah. So, anyway, I did give this guy wheels, okay? I, you guys can see his name right here. You can probably even ask him. DM him on Roblox or whatever. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I gave him some wheels. But, anyway, guys, if you guys do want some items in Bilbo or some gold for free, make sure you guys comment down below your Roblox username. And I just simply pick one person per video. And, also, if you guys could drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, it would be so much appreciate it guys it shows so much support on the channel but anyway guys without further ado we're gonna go ahead and hop into this because i am really really excited for this and this was an awesome change that show thrill did add today so let's go ahead and read in the announcements what he added the other day and then what he changed today with this so this is the announcement he actually put out okay he said this right here he said hello all we have big things in the works right now so this is like a small update compared to what's coming he said but for now we have a small change we'd like to share the binding tool has been updated to hide connection lines from the user while the tool is not being used. So that's like the little laser things. And he also did uh, some cool outlines along, you know, the things that you're selecting. Anyway, in addition, holding shift can be used to bind to multiple parts at once. Lastly, the tool can now be used on mobile. However, since mobile doesn't have keys that can be used for binding, the functionality is limited to setting which part is connected to which C. Okay, but anyway forget all what he just said basically what he means guys is that you can bind multiple things at once and actually mobile can now do this as well so that's a big change to this but guys that's not what that is not the main thing okay that is not the main thing all right the main thing is that he just changed it so where mobile players can now do a ton more stuff and it actually is easier to select a bunch of things at once let's go ahead and read off what he just announced as well so inside of his development tab, he put this out yesterday at 5 p.m., which was, uh, you know, a while ago. But anyway, he said, small change, change, he said, change the binding tool to select multiple parts without needing to hold shift. So this time, guys, we, he made it so we actually don't have to hold shift. He said, deselect a part by selecting it again. This allow for mobile players to select multiple parts as easy. So guys, now mobile players can now select multiple things at once. So that is insane. So what he actually means by that, guys, is if we actually wanted to bind, let's say, uh, uh, let's do it. Let's do a plan. Let's do the purple jets here. Let's say we wanted to bind all of these things right here. Okay. Earlier, we'd have to just press shift on them, but instead, guys, it automatically selects all of them for you. So, like, if we like wanted to like click anything, this might get a little bit annoying. I he might actually revert this change, by the way, guys, but. Anyway, you guys can see if we bring our thing out here, it's going to bind all of them. And if you actually wanted to deselect them, he actually did put this in the announcement as well. You just click them like this and that deselects them. Or if we hold shift, I believe, the shift deselect them. Or I don't really know how it works here, but it's kind of weird and kind of confusing at the same time. I don't really know if that deselects it or not. Let's go ahead and see here. Um, okay, I think we actually need the uh, C, first of all. Let's go ahead and grab the C. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This is crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our tool here so yeah if we actually do that then i honestly don't know how this works like i don't know how you're supposed to deselect it he did say in the announcement that you just click to deselect so maybe are we selecting right now or diesel oh i think we're selecting when we click okay so when we click guys that's when we deselect or select the things so we're gonna go ahead and sit in here and then we can we like bind our thing all right let's go ahead and click on our seat here all right f okay just like that so if we actually launch here then those ones oh actually no all of them go oh my 
my gosh. Look at that, guys. Oh, my goodness. What in the world just happened? Okay, well, I guess it selected all of them. That was crazy. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. That was insane right there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty cool. I have not actually tried that yet, but this time, guys, like I said, all he added is where mobile players can now select a bunch of things at once. Earlier, they were only be able to select one, so he basically just improved this for mobile, Xbox, and a bunch of other stuff, and also PC as well, and whatever you guys play on. Your Kindle Fires, okay? I don't know what you guys play on. Your Nintendo DSs, I don't know, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and clear all real quick and get these jets out of here. Oh my goodness, guys. Where is those lasers going to? Are my jets all the way up there? Oh my goodness. Well, you guys can see right there, that's basically all he added, and guys, I am going to keep you guys updated on all these small little updates because I know that's what a lot of you guys subscribed for is these uh, update videos. So anyway, I will keep making these. If you guys do want to see more of them and like get updated on everything as they come out to the game, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys do want to go ahead and see that because I do enjoy making these update videos and you guys do enjoy them and watch them. But anyway, thank you guys so so much for watching today's video. And Before we actually end it off here, I'm going to go ahead and try this. I'm going to see what happens if we select all of them. We're going to go ahead and grab our tool here. We're going to select all just like this. Boom, bam, bop, boom. Just like this. We're going to press F as our trigger key. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, wait. Fusion. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Okay. Let's go like this. Oh, my gosh. Yo, this looks so sick. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, you guys can see right here. It's actually really fun to play around with, and you guys can make some pretty cool creations with this. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, uh, yeah, I don't think he actually added anything new. Let's go ahead and just check the plushie room real quick just to see if there is anything that he did add in there or that he changed. Let's just go ahead and be 100% sure that there's no extra secrets inside of here. Let's go ahead and get in. Okay, open up. All right, let's go ahead and get this code going inside of here. Let's get the yellow, uh, red, and then a purple, blue, green. Guys, I don't know if he's going to update the plushie room again or when it's going to be updated, but let's see right now. Okay, it looks, it looks the same. Everything does look the same. We still got the treasure map there and a bunch of other stuff. All right, so nothing has changed inside of this room as of the last update, but I think that's all he added, guys, was the jets, or not the jets, but the new tool, and he did improve it. So now mobile players and a bunch of other platforms can now select a bunch of things at once, which is really cool because other platforms were not able to do that in the past, but now you actually can. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video there. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. And also, if you guys do want to keep stay updated on my Roblox game, my Roblox game is going to release very, very soon, and you guys do not want to miss out on it because, uh, yeah, it's been taking me about a month and a half to make, maybe even longer, but it is turning out really, really cool, and you guys do not want to miss out on it because all around, guys, I think it's pretty cool. It's one of my first ever, like, Roblox games to ever be released, and it does have to do with boats, and it's pretty cool. So, anyway, make sure you stay tuned on the channel for that. I will let you guys know as soon as possible when the game does drop and then we'll do like a huge like testing inside my discord server so if you guys are not inside of my discord server make sure you guys get inside of there if you guys do want to test out the game with us and so uh, yeah it's gonna be really really fun but anyway hope you guys do have a great day make sure you guys do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell turned on so you guys never miss a new video it's been fusion guys i will see you guys all in the next one make sure i stay subscribed for any updates in the future that do come out and uh, yeah i'll see you guys all later peace out everybody and goodbye.